Hello, Necessary Gaming people. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Thanks for not asking. I'm Colonel Crayon, and this is Wing Commander, Episode 5. Um, last episode, we killed a destroyer, and we got a bronze star, so that's awesome. Anyway, um, let's talk to Shot Glass now. Hey there, Crayon. Get you something? I'm glad to see you and Paladin getting along so well. You'll be retiring soon, you know. Been flying fighters for 20 odd years. And now, they're putting him out to pasture. He and I used to fly together back before the war started. Darn good man. The old claw will miss him. Oh, that it's retiring? That's sad. Wow, I have 18 kills. Jeez. Only four, flown four sorties, too. That's just ridiculous. I'd like to tell you, Luddy. It's been good flying with you. We'll be pulling out of McAuliffe soon. And the Colonel likes to shake up the wings every now and then. So let me give you one last piece of advice. A young wingman ain't gonna stick by you the way I have, lad. That's no criticism of him, lad. Just a fact. A youngster's got a name to make and a career to think on. He'll be looking to make a hero of himself. An old man like myself, on the other hand. Well, I'm just wanting to make it back so I can retire in one piece. Hmm. Yeah, he's definitely got a point, that's for sure. I'm not gonna look- I'm not gonna be looking forward to flying with any, uh, inexperienced wingmen. Sit down, Crayon. I want to compare notes with you. I've been watching the way the Dilrathi maneuver, and I think I've noticed something. Seems to me that when you're hot on a Dilrathi's tail, and he pulls a loop to shake you, he always goes up or down. Never to the side. Ever notice that? Well, they do. Always up or down. Never left or right. You know, lad, I believe you're right. I think it's because those big wings block their visions to the sides. But above and below, between the wings, their vision is clear. Huh. You know, I have noticed that before. That's really interesting. You should definitely keep that in mind. If I, when I face Drouthy. Nothing new. Alright, let's get the mission briefing now. We're going to be leaving McAuliffe late tomorrow, but first we've got a half dozen sports and tankers coming in. With at least one Kilrathi carrier in the system, we're expecting the hairballs to make a play for most of the sports. Here are the assignments for the transport escorts. Crayon and Paladin will take the last detail. Computer, display Psy. Your rendezvous with a Draymond class tanker here at Nav 1. As soon as it arrives, the tanker will head for the Tiger's Claw. It'll be moving at top speed and won't deviate from its shortest course, so you'll have to protect it from any attackers. Stay close. Don't let enemy fighters draw you away from the tanker. Now one more thing, boys and girls. Intelligence indicates Burak Starkiller may be in the system. Burak Starkiller, sir? He's one of the Kilrathi's best flies a Southie light fighter. Our records credit him with 64 kills, counting fighters and battleships. So let's all be extra careful out there, alright? Squadron dismissed. I don't like the sound of this. Whoa. Okay, whoa. I don't like escort missions, and the fact that they mentioned Burak Starkiller. Or Burak. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm just going to assume it's Burak. The fact that I mentioned him in the briefing means he's undoubtedly going to show up here, so. I'm scared now. Especially since he's probably going to show up during the escort, and there's already enemies here. Looks like four. Look sharp. The enemy are upon us. Laddie, let me loose, will ya? Yeah, sure. Got you covered, lad. Oh, 
Wow, he's actually attacking. Holy crap. And there's a missile possibly after me. Gee whiz, what are they doing going after me? Aren't you supposed to be keeping some of them busy? Man, these things are so tough. <laughs> I just ate my words. All oh, right, he's distracting one of them. One that's way off in the distance. Okay. Come on over here. Eh. Well, what the frick was that? Hey, looks like there's only really one of them nearby. My offspring shall avenge me. I shall help you, Paladin. Oh, no, it looks like he's got him. Where's that other one? Ha! That one was for me, father! Yeah, you die now. Glad to have you with us, Lieutenant Walton. Get him out in. Or I'll get him. I think I got him. No, that was a missile. Success. Whoa. Okay, wow. Nearly just ran into the transport there. That went pretty well, and the transport didn't seem to take any damage. And Paladin finally killed one! I'm so- Woo! Why? Oh, why is the button for afterburners hot keyed bound to the same key that allows you to speed up and slow down. Why? Is that not just the dumbest idea ever? Alright, whatever. It's unreasonable. Um, distance of the transport, I suppose. I suppose. Red, direct flies, is salty. There's no way I'd be able to use dumb fires on that. Oh, shoot. I don't see any enemies. It's probably. Probably. Blast! The enemy are here! Uh huh. Ape, I hope you are a better target than the last five. Um, stop. I've blown up an enemy fighter. Okay. Where's the transport? I don't know, but I'm going really fast. Aha! Burak, your friends are dead. And holy cow, he's going after that. Stop it! Oh shoot, transport's taking damage. Come on! Ha! Stupid games! You Terrans fight like primates. Man, he's 
beaten that. Oh, where are you going? Is he getting away? He got away. Whatever. I don't care. Ugh. How close are we? Halfway. Oh, that was tense. Draymond took a ton of damage. How are you doing, Paladin? Yeah. Man. G -g -g just you see how much more skilled than an he yeah than me he was. I mean, jeez. He was just outflying me like a boss. It's ridiculous. Well, it's pretty, pretty funny that the uh, Draymond managed to kill one of the Southie. Although, from what I could tell, the Southie kind of ran into the thing. I don't think it, like, shot at it. I don't even think the Draymond class has defenses or weapons on it. Could be wrong. I don't really remember, to be honest. I just hope we don't run into anything else. I really don't, actually. got away. I guess it was kind of, uh, I guess it, you know, would have been stupid for him to stick around to scimitars, completely outgunned, and although he could completely outfly us because our ships are control, like, Centaurian mud pigs, <laughs> um, the fact that our ships, it, he had us outmaneuvered completely, but we could still outgun him. I mean, I've hit him. I hit him with probably like two missiles at least. I remember there's a button to match the speed of a of a targeted craft, but I don't remember what it is. Hmm. We took heavy damage there, I think. Actually, no, we didn't really get hit much at all. We just kept running into stupid things because I kept engaging the afterburners, even though I didn't want to. <sighs> oh, I can see it in the distance, the Tiger's Claw. At least I can see it's... I can see it's escort ships, I think. We're almost there, though. Oh, yep, I can see it off in the distance. Well, that went surprisingly well. But... Draymond almost got blowed up, I think. Took some heavy damage, mostly from uh, Southie. I have a feeling this won't be the last we see of Burak, though. How much longer before we get there? Oh, 13,000. 13,000 kilometers. I wonder how long until we can ditch the transport and just land. What in the world is it doing? It's it's dancing. The claw was dancing. It was happy that we we made it back alive along with the transport. Did you see that? <laughs> there. Should be. Um, that was weird. I don't want to disable video images. Those are fun. <laughs> Can I ditch this thing yet? I mean, come on, we're almost there. We're so close. And so, oh, it's slowing down. Oh, come on, let's land. Can go a little faster. They're a little, get within range a little faster, that is. Hello! 
Crayon, you're clear to land. Yes, thanks. Whew. Whoa, you sure got yourself shot up, sir. Well done, gentlemen. The tanker commander asked me to commend you both. I'm just glad to get that sport back to the claw, sir. Now, don't go discounting the fun of giving the airballs a black eye, lad. Enough of that, though. Let's review the mission. You racked up four Kilrathi, Crayon. And Paladin got one of the hairballs. And I want to see you in my office later, Crayon. Dismissed. Walton, come in. I need to speak with you. Yes, sir. We'll be leaving Wakolif soon, and I need to make some personnel changes. Effective immediately following the jump, you'll be reassigned. I need you in Star Slayer Squadron, flying a Raptor-class heavy fighter. Yes, sir. You won't be sorry. Good. I'm glad to hear it. That's all then, Lieutenant. Dismissed. Get out of my office. Wow, those are some dang awesome scientists, gee whiz. Yikes. You got any new ribbons? No. Okay. That was a stressful mission. Actually, no, that was insanely stressful. But I'm glad it's over, and we've been transferred into a raptor. With a Star Slayer squadron. That's cool. Can't wait to see what a raptor's like. I didn't really like the scimitars that much, to be quite honest. But uh, that'll I think that'll do that for this mission, or this episode. So I will see you in the next one. Bye! That's all then, Lieutenant. Dismissed. Get out of my office.